We have a new tropical storm in the West Pacific in the form of Bailu at 40 miles per hour, 1,000 millibars as of midnight Philippine Standard Time this August 22nd. It is currently uncertain on where it's going to hit, but there is a confidence that it will be a stage 4 on the CDPS where some places could get as much as 24 inches of rain across Taiwan and into possible areas of mainland China. There's still a lot of uncertainty with it as the tracks are very divided as we'll see with the models. It is at 15.5 north, 130.7 degrees east. Again, stage 4 on the CDPS. Extensive damage wherever it goes along the line of its path, which is still very uncertain at this time. Some places that can be impacted include Bosco at 657 miles, Huilin 798, Taichung City at 871, Xuanzhou at 1000 miles, and Sanming Inland at 1120 miles inland of China. Currently, there are no watches or warnings at this time, but we will see those possibly go up in the later days this week as this does move closer to land areas later on in the week. This is the rainfall forecast for Bailu, as most of the outflow will be impacting most of the northern Philippines and maybe even some of the Ryukyu Islands as it does move through the work week. Some places of the northern Luzon Islands could get impacted by some heavy rain, even Taiwan, before it possibly could make a landfall on mainland China at the end of the work week. There's still a lot of uncertainty on where this could make landfall. Some models have it up into Taiwan. Some have it down into mainland China. As far south as Hong Kong, there's still a lot of uncertainty to it. But sea surface temperatures are not going to be issued for this storm. 29 and 20 degrees Celsius in front of it, wherever it's going to go, whether it hits Taiwan or China. Still plenty of warm water for it to work with over the next few days. Now getting into the actual forecast, the models want to take it up to anywhere between a moderate tropical uh, storm up to possible typhoon status. There's still a lot of uncertainty with that, along with this track. Again, the G this is the GFS model, so it's taking it just to the south of Taiwan into mainland China, possibly hitting Hong Kong later on in the week, but the, again, there's still so much uncertainty that we can't really say for sure where it's going to go. And the GFS touting another storm back behind us later on in the week, but we'll have to see if that verifies out. The tropical storm forest conditions over the next five days are as follows. Queenland at 55%, Taichung City at 52%, Bosco at 45%, Xuanzhou at 41%, and Sanming well in land in China at 40%. The models here are very divided as the HWR is the only one that really wants to make this a significant typhoon, almost category two. JTWC on board, right about a minimum typhoon. The rest of them are keeping it as a tropical storm and the possibilities of, it of intensifying are there with the shear dropping to near five knots over the next couple days. And there you can see that track very uncertain with a possible landfall in either Taiwan into mainland China or even as far south as Hong Kong. Getting on to the visual imagery, you can see how Bailu has been looking. The center is starting to get under its convection. You can see some convection glow up on the western side of the system there. Water vapor imagery kind of painting the same picture. You can see a lot of the convection starting to fire up on that western side. Outflow is starting to get a little bit better, but this is still a bit disorganized. It's only 40 miles per hour at this time. And looking at the infrared, you can see where that circulation is trying to tuck up under that convection and some of that convection starting to travel trying to blow up and wrap around on the western side. But again, due to the uncertainty with how this is going to go, if you're in Taiwan, up through the Luzon Islands, into mainland China, into places like Xuanzhou, Sanming, any of them in Hong Kong, you guys need to be getting prepared for this. We'll have more on this later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. You're probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword force13, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword force13. And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Four here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com, or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. 
More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force 13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force 13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information also available at the end of this segment.